Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Sanders laughs in hateful CNN host's face after catching him in huge lie during live interview. Chris Cuomo must have really thought he had a gotcha moment when White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders agreed to an interview with him for his CNN show, New Day. CNN ratings have been sinking faster than the Titanic in recent times. Routinely called out for selective coverage and significant bias, as well as flat-out fake news Cuomo likely thought he could regain some credibility as a serious journalist by baiting Sanders. Cuomo did not disappoint launching into the expected diatribes and the usual lies regarding the Trump administration. Cuomo asked Sanders if she liked her job as press secretary for President Donald Trump. Sanders naturally answered in the affirmative and went on to tout accomplishments by the Trump administration citing the strong economy and President Trump's recent legislation benefiting veterans. Realizing he had no method of attack here, Cuomo then chose to wonder aloud, inquiring if Sanders believes the president's contention with the media is sustainable. Sounding much like junior high boy passing notes stating do you like me? Check yes or no? Cuomo asked, do you think that by saying, we stink, that we don't like veterans, that we are bad for America, the president says we are enemies of America, do you think that that works for you long term? Sanders all but laughed in his face and retorted sharply. What I think is important to remember is that you guys get to ask the questions, but you can't always complain about the answers, Sanders shot back. You constantly ask the same question over and over and over again and expect different answers and then get mad when the answers don't change. Realizing this interview was not going in the direction he wanted it to go, Cuomo attempted to cut Sanders off, interjecting with, yeah, that's the job, that's the job. Sanders returns fire with a truth bomb Cuomo cannot refute, stating, no, the job is to get information and to report the news. That must have been a bitter pill for Cuomo to swallow, but Sanders was not finished with her total annihilation of this journalistic hack. She adds, unfortunately, you guys quit reporting the news. When I can read a news story and I have no idea what side of the story the reporter is on, that's a good news story. You'll be hard-pressed to find a lot of news that looks like that, on CNN. Sanders simply does not suffer fools, nor does she engage in silly word games where one side tries to convince the other that the grass is not indeed green. She refuses to engage in the media spectacle CNN's Jim Acosta and April Ryan attempt to create during White House press briefings. Naturally. Cuomo got his dander all up at Sanders' suggestion that he is a mere opinion journalist and then attempted to make the ridiculous claim that Sanders does answer the public's questions during White House press briefings. Sanders was having none of Cuomo's attempts to deflect. I answer questions all day, every day, Sanders retorted. It's what I spend every minute of the day doing. It's why I'm sitting here at 9 o'clock at night answering questions to you. Cuomo is known for touting the leftist party line and citing approved propaganda from the Democratic Party line for line. He has been caught in lie after lie, yet manages to keep his job at CNN because his brother is the governor of New York and his father was the former governor of the same. Without his family connections? He would be asking such riveting questions as, would you like fries with that? In 2015, Cuomo repeated the lie a video started the Benghazi attack siding with Hillary Clinton's account of the events that occurred. He to this day denies any wrongdoing on the part of the Obama administration. The key to journalistic integrity is being willing to hold anyone and everyone accountable for their actions regardless of political affiliation. It seems Cuomo missed that memo. Hot Air reported on Cuomo's coverage of the House Select Committee on Benghazi in October of 2015. In preparation for this long-anticipated event, CNN's Chris Cuomo took the opportunity to interview committee member Martha Roby, R., Alabama 2 regarding what we should expect out of this Q&A session. It's definitely a newsworthy topic which has captured the nation's attention, but Chris might have wanted to prepare a bit more before the interview. He managed to get nearly everything wrong with his questions and seemed genuinely shocked when he failed to fish out the answers he was looking for. Here are just a few of the premises which Cuomo fed into the interview. Let's see how he did. Cuomo, but then you get to legitimate questions of well, what else are you going to learn? You've had the secretary the former secretary now, for over six hours. She spoke specifically to what she knew before, during and after. She gave you answers that may not have been satisfying to you, but she gave answers. She talked to you about the threat. She talked to you about her recognition of the threat. She talked to you about her response to the threat. That's certainly a damning accusation. Unfortunately, there are just a few details which Cuomo got wrong. Hillary Clinton has never testified before the House Select Committee on Benghazi. 
She testified before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee for two and a half hours in January of 2013. Worth noting that it was controlled by Democrats at the time, she also testified before the House Foreign Affairs Committee for three hours in the same month, which was more than two years before we got any of her emails. Here's another Golden Cuomo moment. Secretary Clinton's, been the target. You've had members of your party, members of this committee, say that it is about her, they were going after her, you had Kevin McCarthy bragging about bringing down her poll numbers, you had that sentiment echoed by other Republican congressmen. So it's not just me who's bringing up this cynicism. That would make a great talking point except for the fact that the only two Republicans who have said anything of the sort are not on the committee and have no direct knowledge of anything that the committee has done. Just last week Cuomo made the wild claim that there was proof of potential collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign. Except, there isn't, except maybe in Cuomo's mind. Rather than actually look at the facts, Cuomo chose to go head-to-head -head with Rep. Jim Jordan, O.R., who blew him out of the water exposing his propaganda peddling for the lies it is. Facts are pesky sometimes. Jordan stated plainly the federal government lied when it obtained Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act FISA, warrants to spy on the Trump campaign. He also stated it relied on a false dossier to prop up its case during the course of his interview with Cuomo. Cuomo attempted to refute, they did disclose where the dossier came from. It is not all false allegations in that dossier. Any judge worth the black robe he or she dons daily while sitting the bench and takes their pledge to ethics seriously would not approve a warrant if they knew the evidence was a bought and paid for unverified dossier by Hillary Clinton. Never mind. There is an active and ongoing investigation by the Office of the Inspector General of the Department of Justice, DOJ, currently. Jordan was incensed at Cuomo's obvious lies and attempts to peddle propaganda and replies, you know this to be the case even though you have never seen the FISA application yourself? Cuomo had nothing much to say after that, yet he still continues to promote the ridiculous and completely false narrative, no one spied on the Trump campaign even after Democrats were forced to publicly acknowledge that it was true. Cuomo and others like him seem to forget that there is a huge difference between freedom of the press and actual investigative reporting. It is the polar opposite of allowing The Onion or Mad Magazine to show up and attempt to interfere with the ability of actual journalists to have open and respectful communication between the American people and the White House and seeking answers to questions we have. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.